Humans have sent some bizarre things into space over the years. Elon Musk's roadster is still cruising through the cosmos at this very moment. But long dead American presidents? What's that about? A Texas-based space burial company called Celestis is sending the DNA of four former US presidents into deep space. Celestis were able to get their hands on supposedly authentic hairs from Presidents George Washington, Dwight D. Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, and Ronald Reagan. The hairs were gifted to Celestis after spending years in the private collection of late celebrity hair auctioneer Louis Mushro. To quote the press release from Celestis, but why might it be attractive to send DNA, the entire human genome, 150 to 300 million miles beyond the Earth moon system? And why send the DNA of former US presidents? Why indeed? Well, the idea is that future civilizations might be able to draw an incredible amount of information from DNA, just as we've done here at home. DNA has helped us solve cold cases, reunite families, cure diseases, and learn more about the history of human evolution and migration. Celestis suggests that between Washington, Eisenhower, Kennedy, and Reagan, there'll be plenty of information about the foundation and development of the United States stored forever in space. Which does sound a little like the answer you'd write on a quiz you did not study for. US colonization of space aside, Celestis might be doing it simply because they can. Which makes sense when you consider who else these presidents are symbolically going to space with. We didn't tell you, but the mission they're joining is Celestis's Enterprise Flight, so named because it will transport DNA of several Star Trek cast and crew into the cosmos. Creator Gene Roddenberry, his wife and voice of the computer on most of the starships, Major Barrett, will be on board, as will cast members Nichelle Nichols, who played Lieutenant Uhura, and DeForest Kelly, who played Dr. McCoy. The ashes of James Doohan, Scotty, will also be on board. If the mission is a success, the Enterprise flight will end up in orbit around the Sun about 150 to 300 million miles away. Celestis is already calling it the first human outpost in deep space. If Washington's DNA includes a play-by-play -play of the American Revolution, we can only imagine what you get from half the original cast of Star Trek.